I don't. So I got out here about six o'clock this morning and got four because you gotta get out here early. Because if you don't get out here early, then the black birds will get my duck eggs. <laughs> Dad finally fixed the chicken coop. I'm getting ready to paint this this evening. I need two windows and some stairs. Hint, hint. But see, Dad fixed both sides for that critter. We got Keith Cam still going on. These are my babies. Look at them. Are they not wheat babies? Oh, he's got a whole bunch of them. He's got a whole mess of them. What stuff is right there? Oh no, he's okay. Them are Americanos. But yeah, 15 come from Tractor Supply and the other nine come from Noah. You can, oh well. You got one okay right there and he's stuck on his head? Oh no, he's okay. They're like, what's going on? What are they doing? You see the water coming up on the top of it. Get that crap out of the bottom of it. This morning, I don't think I've gotten six in one day in a long time. But I've been working on this room in here. You see that picture up there? Jody gave that to me a long time ago. Me and her had a paint party. You see that? That's a precious picture. Anyway, yeah, just kind of tell the story of how I do my jury. My famous jury. I still got more cleaning to do, though. This can't scale up the bike. It's a 69 Buick Electra 225. Inside and the outside is in beautiful shape. It just needs a motor and a transmission. So yeah. If somebody got this and probably put maybe ten thousand into it, fifteen thousand, they'd probably get I don't know, they'd probably get at least forty for it. This is where I put my earrings after I get done wearing them. These are the ones I made. But so Megan got me this one when she went to the Vatican about 10 years ago. And then this is Grandma's mom's. Right there. Super special. So every morning I get up, I have my coffee. And then I look over and I look at my agenda for the day and see what all I have to do. And then I go out and I feed my chickens and my ducks. I feed Sugar, my puppy dog. And then I go do my makeup and my hair. All right, so in the morning, I'm not gonna show you my dentures because that's not pretty. But my friend Julie 
noticed how I was having such a hard time putting eyeliner on. One morning I put lip liner on. So, she got me some glasses. So, this is what I do. Wait, hold on, they're upside. See, I can't even see which way they go because I'm so caught in thick and blunt. Oh, here we go, there we go. Look at that. So, what we do, I can't even see. Put my, oh, here we go. Yeah. Don't look at my mouth. It's just something you gotta do. It's like, and then when you're done, you just flip it over. Yeah, there we go. See, isn't that beautiful? Somebody's making a lot of money out there. Let's go to work. And then I head to work. It is today. Wednesday, so it's fried. Oh, today's fried chicken day. That's some pretty fried chicken in that oven. Marcy Joe's come about in 2006. I went to Joe, Murray and, and Joey live right down the road, probably a mile down the road. And I went to their house one morning and had coffee. And I told Joe, she knows it's always been my dream to own a restaurant at one point, but I knew I could never afford it. So I told her, I said, wouldn't it be neat for that little place up the road? It was, uh, this place was a vegetable stand. And I said, wouldn't it be neat if we could just open up like a little meet and three? And so, thank you. Look at that. So they're we're really well known for our homemade cinnamon rolls. This is changing lives one bite at a time. And hips. So anyway, we were having coffee, talking about it, and I said, and Joey didn't have nothing going on with her music at the time, and Joey loved to bake. She was great at breads and cakes and pies, and she was always making something every day for Rory and Hopi and Heidi. And so she's like, yeah, let's do that. So it took us almost a year, to, and it was me and Dad, Don Gary, my Don Gary. It was me and Dad, Rory, Joey, and we all just come in here and we just start working every single day, tearing things down and painting and cleaning. We basically did everything in here except so our old baker Judy Hardgrove. She did all the electrical in here. But anyway, so it's awesome. We have people from all over the world come here. They see, you know, me and Joe did a cooking show on our RV, and we did it right there in front of the wood-burning stove, which was pretty awesome. And so a lot of people saw that, and they come to the restaurant. And uh, they love it. And my favorite part of everything is, besides them coming to the restaurant, meeting me, seeing them, just experiencing everything, is them eating the food that I cooked them, and they're like, oh my God, that was amazing. That was the best, you know, fried chicken I've ever had. And so that, that that's what I love. That's what I love the most. What's your menu like now? So we recently, just in this past few months, went seven days a week. 
I know, it's crazy. But it's good because now we don't have people that travel all the way here and come on a Tuesday and like, oh my gosh, you're closed, you know, and that makes me feel so bad. So anyway, Mondays is named after my mom. It's called Rita's Pork Tenderloin. Mom used to make these pork tenderloins with our homemade breaded uh, uh, pretzels. And so we did that. We do that on Monday. Plus we started doing a, a homemade barbecue sandwich, uh, which is amazing. Uh, Tuesday's Mom's Meatloaf. That's Joey's recipe. We've been doing that for years. Fried chicken on Wednesday, which we're doing that today. I'll show you a picture of the fried chicken. Oh yeah, fried chicken. Uh, tomorrow is going to be pork chops. And then Friday is catfish. Friday night is catfish also. We also do a barbecue sandwich on Friday night and Friday. And then Saturday and Sunday is breakfast all day. So it's awesome. Good stuff. And so on the merch that we have, me and Joey did a cookbook together. And then the second one we started, but then Joe got sick. And then I finished it and dedicated it to her. And then we have coffee mugs, we have glasses, we have magnets, we have t-shirts, um, postcards, travel mugs. And, oh, and the most stuff that we have that sells the best is my jewelry. Just saying. And you can go to MarcyJoes.com or Marcy Joe's or, or you can go to Marcy Joe's Bakery too. People walk in and they see, you know, just what they've seen on TV and they actually see me and they're like, oh my gosh, you're actually here. And I'm like, well, I gotta have a paycheck too. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. All right, you guys ready to take a picture? No, man, we just don't. They're going to take We'll go next and we get one. You're not going to take our pictures. You have to have a camera. Here, you want them to do your, here you go. Here's a camera. Recently, you know, we had to shut down because of the COVID pandemic. Whatever it's called. COVID, 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 COVID 17, 18, 19. And so we had to shut down for seven weeks. And Jenny over there is our waitress. She's been with us for quite a while. She's the only one that come back. Everybody else decided to stay on unemployment, which was such a bummer because I had a really, I felt like I had a really good staff. My kitchen crew, they're always happy singing, you know. 
but it's all right. We got us another good crew. We got Luis in the kitchen cooking. Um, we got a great uh, dishwasher. We got a great uh, Ashley. She's my prep cook. So it's all good. Things are, you know, and then business is good, you know. It hasn't really affected us this past weekend. It was storming Sunday. I was like, oh my gosh, this is going to be so slow. We were slammed all day. So no complaints here. I'm loving it. Sunday from 8 to 2, so come see me.